Welcome glorious viewers, it's Lucky like always and in today's video we're gonna talk about the siege and how it works in the alpha. I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started! Let me tell you guys how the siege works in the alpha and then I'm gonna tell you my opinion about how siege is gonna be in the final game. Right now to be able to join a siege you need to be level 12, you also need your guild leader to register for the siege and get your ass in there pretty much. I will tell you guys to go there with your best gear, your best friends, your best mates. If not, they're gonna get your ass kicked many hours in a row and then you feel really sad. So yeah, when you see on the screen, you need to register for the siege. Your gear leader needs to register. When you see on the screen, siege is starting. You need to go either in a village, either in a crossroad and go to those NPCs in the village. And that's how you join. One of my favorite things about the siege right now is the music. It truly makes everything so epic. Big. it gives a vibe for the game is so 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 amazing let me say a bit about how the servers run and then i'm going to talk a bit about the gameplay fps wise and like stability wise it feels really really smooth really stable it can definitely handle a lot of people and i really appreciate that they're working on that because siege is going to be such a cool thing in the game in the future and i really want this to work really really smooth one of the things i was like extremely surprised about the siege is how smooth it runs another thing that i was really surprised about ashes it was how fast they are fixing bugs and introducing new things in the game and that makes me extremely extremely happy because a really smooth siege is gonna break or make the game when the game is out so when you join the siege, you have two things you can do. You can either go and siege the castle, take over the castle and give me the castle so I can be the queen. Or you can go for boss fights. You have three bosses in the game and you can do that. So let me talk a bit about the siege dragons and how they work. And then we're going to talk about sieging the castle. Right now in the game, you have three siege dragons. You have the fire dragon, the poison and the ice dragon. You have all of them in the main map, but I feel like in the main map, they are not in a, the right context they're just like randomly on the map when in the siege you have them the ice dragon surrounded by ice you know like you they make sense the poison dragon it's surrounded by poison it definitely makes sense and it also makes the mechanics a bit harder for example at the ice dragon in the main world it's just like ground but here it's ice and he does a lot of like ice attacks on the ground that they are like a bit hard to see because it's ice on ice and it will like really pay a lot of attention and like jump at the right time when in the world because it's on the brown ground you can definitely tell when it, he does like one of those attacks on the ground you know you need to be paying a lot more attention to these dragons that are also meant to be defeated by like a large group of people right now the servers are a bit empty so you don't have like 30 against 30 sieges 100 against 100 because you don't have that many players right now but they're definitely meant to be defeated by like a large amount of people and the unique thing about these dragons something it took me way too long to know is why would you defeat them the main reason you want to defeat these bosses in the alpha right now is they give scales and with these scales you can use them to craft legendaries so you pretty much need a village that has a mayor and the mayor needs to upgrade this uh, certain houses and then it spawns some new NPCs some like higher level NPCs and with these scales you can go at them and I craft legendaries right now crafting legendaries takes quite a lot of time and a lot of resources it's worth it it just takes a while and honestly that legendary gear looks extremely epic if you want to siege the castle as an attacker you need to take over the control point you have like a frozen lake control point and it takes more than like a minute to take over the point and it gives you a lot of like buffs so that's why people at the beginning of the fight they go and channel these points for all those extra buffs and then they go and try to take over the gate the best way to do it try to attack with a trebuchet and attack the gate it does way more damage if you do it with a trebuchet than if you do it with your skills and the best way as a defender to destroy those trebuchet is with the ballistas oh my god the ballistas and the trebuchets make the siege so so amazing right now you can like craft the ballista it doesn't take much but it's like this box you can like go and like press e and craft it and it feels so satisfying even though it only takes one second and you press e and you can use it and you go into this action mode type of gameplay so having people on the ballistas and the trebuchet can definitely make a huge difference into winning the 
the siege or like losing the siege. I think right now you need to destroy three gates to go into the main throne room and then you need to try to take over the control point. I'm not sure how many minutes it takes but that's what I need to do. And the best way to experience PvP is honestly by doing a siege. Such a great way to like get your PvP skills up. I started as a complete noob and because I did so many sieges, I feel like I'm finally learning how to kill some people. It's just such a cool amount of content you can do. It's so satisfying when you actually kill someone or if you help killing someone and it's so sad when you die. It's like so, so sad. <laughs> and now it gets me to the next point with who do you siege? And how do you siege? I feel like if you go in voice with people, it makes the siege a million times better because you can coordinate a lot better. Like I had the siege, I think we were like 12 people against four and those four took over the castle because we were so freaking bad at like communicating. And you need to invite everyone in the raid so you can see them on the position of the map and try at least by like typing in the chat to like coordinate. But if you do it in voice, it's way better. I actually did a voice siege and it's gonna be my next video if you guys want to see that. I might be wrong, but the respawn time for the defender is way faster than for the attacker. But I think if you take certain control points, those times change quite a bit. So always make sure you take over the control points. My final opinion about the siege in the alpha is such an epic experience. As a gamer, you're gonna smile the whole time. It's such an amazing way to learn how to PvP. Cannot wait for you guys to try a siege. It's gonna be like one of the things that's gonna make Ashes way better than anything else. So I feel like when the game is gonna be out having a siege and like sieging is gonna be like a huge adventure and like a huge thing to do with your guild or like with the people in the server. So like, I think that's me talking about a siege. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to so keep an eye for the next video where you can actually see a siege with a voice but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys want to get the game you can always use my referral code i hope you guys have an amazing day and have fun guys buy the game play it have fun don't have kids look at, look at you, understand.